Jeddah is a small moon, rich in Jedi history, and with the Force itself. What significance does a moon like Jeddah have to the Empire? Hello Star Wars fans, my name is Joel Robinson, and this is day 6 of the 16 day video countdown to Rogue One. Frozen in permanent winter, and located in the inner rim, Jeddah is a sacred desert moon where many Church of the Force members and other Force-believing people have taken their pilgrimages in order to gain spiritual guidance. Jeddah's main settlement, the Holy City, contained the ancient Temple of Wills, which was argued among many pilgrims and historians to be the first Jedi Temple unaware that the Temple on Aktu was in fact the first. When Darth Sidious ordered the construction of the Death Star superweapon during the Clone Wars, many worlds were sacrificed in order to provide resources necessary for building the massive space station. Jeddah was not exempt from the Empire's hand. Jeddah was eventually occupied by the Empire. Kyber crystals, the main component in the construction of Jedi lightsabers, were found on the planet, and the Empire intended to rip them from Jeddah's sacred soil and use them for the power to the Death Star and other Imperial superweapons. Some, however, like Jeddah native Chirrut Imwe, a blind force-worshipping monk, and his partner, Base Malibus, a gun-toting assassin, refused to allow their sacred world to be defiled by Imperial stormtroopers, TIE fighters, ATSTs, and hover tanks. So they formed an insurgency cell against the Empire, fighting the Imperial military in Jeddah's winding narrow streets. The insurgency cell eventually caught the attention of Saw Gerrera, who moved his rebels, the Partisans, to Jeddah to help the rebellion. Gerrera and his seasoned soldiers established a hidden base not far from the Holy City, underground within an ancient burial site. Saw led his partisans alongside Chirrut and Baze and others in order to expel Imperial presence from Jeddah. The rebellion on Jeddah had been going on for quite some time before the rebel spy Jin Erso arrived on the moon in order to recruit Saw to her cause in stealing the plans to the Empire's first superweapon, the Death Star. From this point forward, there will be major spoilers ahead, just to let you know. All right, here we go. A short time after Jin Erso and her squad of rebels known as Rogue One arrived on Jeddah, Orson Krennic, the director of the Death Star Project, and Imperial Advanced Weapons Research fired on Jeddah using the Death Star Super Laser. The blast was not fired at full power, so the moon was not obliterated. But the damage had been done, and the weapon had been tested. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you need more Star Wars, and if you like this video, then please share it. A special thank you to Calvin Schubert, who wrote this video for me. Be sure to check out his Twitter, and all his work on Wikipedia. And as always, May the force be with you.